Hello and welcome to The Warrior Within the Woman. I'm your host, Pastor Lauren Daniel, and this week we've got another episode for you, Warriors. This week we're going to be discussing the significance of your circle. Now, a lot of times, especially as we're growing up and the things that we're going through, we don't necessarily understand or even realize the significance of the people you surround yourself with. But today, I really want to dive into what God really wants for your life. And one of those things is for you to surround yourself with warriors, like-minded warriors that are ready to fight the good fight with you and are ready to push you to be a greater woman of God and a stronger and more courageous warrior. So if you'll go with me today, we're going to be going into Luke chapter 5. And this is one of my favorite events in the Bible where a crippled man, we see him, he has been crippled and his friends come to the rescue. So in Luke 5, we are going to go from verse 17 through 26. And it says, Jesus went to the Sea of Galilee and invited four fishermen to follow him. A few days later, Jesus returned to Capernaum. People filled the house and many stood outside the door. No one could get in or out. Pharisees and teachers of the law of Moses from many locations were also there. The power of the Lord God was present for Jesus to heal the sick. Four men came carrying a paralyzed man on a bedroll. The four men tried to take the paralyzed man into the house to lay him before Jesus. They couldn't get past the crowd at the door. The house had a flat roof and outside stairs leading up to the roof. So the four men went up on the roof, removed some tiles, and lowered the paralyzed man on his bedroll into the middle of the crowd right in front of Jesus. Jesus saw the faith of the four men and said to the paralyzed man, Friend, your sins are forgiven. And the Pharisees and the teachers of the law thought to themselves, That is blasphemous talk. God and God alone can forgive sins. And Jesus knew their thoughts and asked the religious leaders, Why are you thinking these thoughts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to tell him, Get up and walk? I'll prove to you that I am the Son of Man, and I have authority on earth to forgive sins. Jesus told the paralyzed man, get up, take your bedroll, and go home. Immediately, the paralyzed man stood up, took up his bedroll, and went home praising God. Everyone was amazed and praised God. They were filled with awe and said, we've seen remarkable things today. This event in the Bible is so significant, I think, to our lives, that as we're growing as warriors and as women of God and growing in our faith and wanting to pursue God in all areas of our lives, we have to realize first and foremost that the people that you are surrounding yourself with, the people that you're choosing to listen to and tune your ear to what they're saying are in fact influencing you the way that you live your life. Or at the end of the day, our decisions are on us, our responsibility. And I believe that when we begin to see our actions change or the way that we're living our lives, whether for better or worse, we can see a correlation with the people you have chosen to surround yourself, your best friends, the families you hang out with, the people that your children get to go and visit. We have to understand that the way we live our lives and the way and the people we choose to put in our lives and to bring close to us can in fact impact the way that you respond, the way that you make decisions and the way you live your life for God. We come to God and we want to change our lives and we get right with him and we ask for forgiveness and we're moving forward and we're taking one step at a time every single day. And then all of a sudden something is messed up. Something happens. We make a wrong decision. We make a mistake or we choose to listen to the wrong people. And a lot of times we are wanting to change our life without changing our life. We're wanting to change our life while still hanging out with the same people. We're wanting to change our life and our mentality and our negativity or our victim mentality when we still are 
are entertaining the people in our lives or allowing or welcoming these people into our homes or into our social lives. And we wonder why we're having such a difficult time moving past a negative mentality or moving past um, something in our past when those people, all they do is feed into that mentality, feed into that sin, feeds into that guilt or anger or frustration with other people. And that's why I believe that first and foremost, we need to learn as mature Christians to lean on God. There is no one in this earth, no matter how much I love my family, no matter no matter how much I love my child, no matter how much I lean and depend on my husband in so many areas of my life, I know that there are going to be situations. There are going to be things in my life that I cannot lean on anyone else but God. That is something we must understand. This crippled man, he could not walk. He was sick. He had friends around him, people around him that were willing to lift him up physically and spiritually, lift him up and get him where he needed to be. And in this particular event, we look at this and we see the significance of surrounding yourself with people that will encourage you and lift you up. But before we go forward, I just want to remind you that we have a responsibility as Christians to move forward in our own relationship with God because we are not always going to have those people around us to lift us up or move us forward. But thank God this man in this situation, he did. In reading the scripture, I am encouraged that as a woman of God and as a warrior and as I'm fighting the good fight and as you are fighting through things mentally, as you're fighting through things, that you, we have to make a choice to be women of wisdom. Women of wisdom who will be wise and who we put close to us who we choose to lean on, who we choose to listen to, the people, the words we choose to entertain in our minds. We must surround ourselves with women who encourage us, but also tell us when we're wrong. So many times we want to surround ourselves with women or with friends who will entertain our struggle entertain our anger, entertain our sin, and not tell us when we are wrong. We will never grow. Woman of God, you will never grow with those type of people in your life. In our circumstances, we will stay angry. We will stay bitter. We will stay a victim all our life if we continue If we continue to choose these people to surround ourselves with, because we will never grow with those people. We must surround ourselves with with friends, with women who will go to war in prayer for you, even when you're not around. I want those friends. I want those people around me that will pray for me even when I don't ask. People that will go to war with me even in a split second if I text them, pray. Those are the people you need. Those are the women of wisdom that you need in your life. These are the people you want to surround yourself with. People of prayer. Women of wisdom. Women that are not going to just entertain your anger and entertain your bitterness and your sin, but to tell you when you're wrong and to pray fervently for you. Those are the people you want. Those are the people that are going to show you and teach you how to pray for others. Those are the people that are going to lift you up to show you how to lift others up. Your circle matters. Surround yourself with women who will walk with you in the wasteland and give you water to drink. I do not want a people... I do not want women in my circle that are just going to talk about the desert I'm walking in 
or going to tell people about the desert I'm walking in, but I want women and friends in my circle that will notice when I'm walking through a wasteland and are not just going to talk about me, but are going to fervently pray over me and lift me up and give me water to drink and give me word to feast on. They're going to give me encouragement and they're going to pour out wisdom over my life when I'm walking through the desert, when I'm walking through the wasteland spiritually. That is who I want. And that is who you need, woman of God. You need women that will stand beside you and not feed into the lies of the enemy, but to tell you when it's the enemy and encourage you to move forward, woman of God. Move forward. There are still steps that need to be taken. There's still faith that needs to come out of you. But you need to surround yourself with women who are willing to walk with you in the desert and to encourage you when you are spiritually dry and to give you water to drink and encourage you to find the living water, which is Jesus. You need that woman of God or you will never grow. You will never move forward. We, I would have never moved forward without the prayer and the encouragement and the wisdom given to me by generation after generation of women who have poured life into me. I would have never made it. I would have never made it without friends and women surrounding me who are not going to talk about me, but who are going to give me water and the word and encouragement in the driest times of my life. Those are the people you need to surround yourself with, woman of God. Surround yourself with women who will believe in your dreams just as much, if not more than you. That's who you need. That's who you need is women that are not going to be jealous of the dreams God's given you or jealous or worried about how it's going to take place, but are going to pray with you for an answer. They're going to believe with you for the promise. They're going to be speaking life over you and encouraging you in the times that you doubt the dream. That is who you need. You need women that are confident, that are confident in who they are in God, that they're not going to be jealous of what God's called you to, but they're going to be excited. They're going to be ready to see God take you there as much as they know that God's going to take them where they need to go. You do not need to surround yourself with women who are going to be constantly jealous and embittered by where God is taking you. We all have different journeys we're on. We all have different people we need to reach. We all are going to be at different paces in our life with God. You need women who are going to encourage you more and, and speak life into you more than what they would even do themselves that are going to believe in the calling on your life. That is who you need, woman of God. Warrior, you need warriors that are going to stand on the battlefield with you and stand and fight with you and are going to sharpen your sword when it gets dull. Those are the women you need in your life. Those are the friends you need in your life, Christian. You need people that are going to believe in your dreams, that are going to believe in the promises, that are going to believe in what God has spoken to you. And when your faith is no longer keeping you, when you get to a moment in your life where you're dry and your faith is just decreasing, those are the people that are going to know your, your heart's desires, that God is going to send your way to speak promises and to speak fresh word into your life. Those are who you need. Those are the warriors you need to surround yourself with. I don't want to surround myself with weak women who are not willing to pray for me and not willing to notice when the enemy is attacking me and are not are, are going to be willing to stand on the battlefield or, and are not afraid of the enemy and are not afraid of the battle or the war that is coming. I need that and you need that woman of God. Surround yourself with women who will change the way you see your strengths and your weaknesses. You need women who are confident that are confident in who they are and who God's called them to be 
and and compa- they're not going to be comparing themselves and wasting time comparing themselves to other women, but they're going to be so confident in who God's called them to be and so confident in the word that the Lord has given that they are going to be able to give you a new view of yourself. Confident women will bring about confident women. When you are confident in who God's created you to be, and confident in how God speaks to you, it will be natural to speak encouragement. It will be natural to lift other women up. It will be natural to love other women in their circumstances. When we are confident in where God's brought us from and where we are now, when we are confident that we are standing on the solid rock of God, that is when you know you've surrounded yourself with quality warriors. Warriors that are ready for war. Warriors that are ready to fight with you, beside you. These are women that that are going to speak life to your strengths, that are even going to reveal God will use these women and these people around you, your circle, to reveal new strengths in your life that you never realized were there. Strengths. And that he will also use your circle to show you areas where you may be weak, that you never saw a weakness. God will use strong, independent warriors of God to show you your strengths and weaknesses so that you can be molded by the creator, so that you can be strengthened and changed and so that God can mold you into who he needs you to be. I want people around me that will reveal to me my weaknesses so that I can change, so that I can get better. I want women around me to encourage me that I have a strength and skills that I never knew God gave me until someone speaks life into you. Those are the people you need to surround yourself with, woman of God. Surround yourself with women who will push you to grow. I want women that will pray with me and ultimately help me grow. I want to grow with you, warrior. I want us to grow together. I am not perfect by all means. No, I am. I have been brought out of the pit just like you. Let us grow together. Women that are going to come with you and stand with you and hold your hand. So when you mess up, they'll forgive you. And when they mess up, you'll forgive them because we're all still growing together. Learn to be humble in your weakness and to freely give grace to the people around you. Surround yourself with women of wisdom, with warriors of wisdom, with warriors of courage. These friends of this man were so strong and confident and they were so stubborn that even if they couldn't get through the natural way, These men, these friends, they were going to go through the front door, but see, the front door was blocked. I want to surround myself with women who believe in my healing, who believe in the promises of God. I want women who will carry me when I need to be carried, who will find a way to get me to Jesus. These friends knew the only answer to their friend's healing. The only answer to this man's healing was Jesus. And even if the natural way was closed, even though the front door was shut, they couldn't get through. The crowd was too thick. They were not going to stop until they saw their friend get their healing. That is who we need to be. That is who we need to be, women of God. Warriors of God, be the friend. Be those friends in the circles with the women that need the healing, that are believing for their promised child, that are believing for miracles to take place in their families, who are believing for salvation for their husbands, for women who are believing for a miraculous revival in their homes. Be those women. Be the circle. Don't just Choose the right circle, but be the women of wisdom. Be the woman in that circle that is willing to carry your friend to their healing. Carry them. If the door is closed or the crowd is too thick, we will find a way. And they did.
And because of their stubbornness, because they were, they were not so easily swayed by what in the natural they saw, they said, we will find a way because they believe that God is going to bring you healing. They believe that their friend will receive the promise of God. And because of their steadfastness, because of their faithfulness, because of their stubbornness, not wanting to move, but to find a solution, their friend was healed. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for those women in our lives. If you're listening to this and you're thinking of people that have carried you in times of trial and are carrying you even maybe right now, thank God for them. Thank God for those women and those those legacies and the generations of women and friends in your circle that have prayed for you and have st- that stood pa- uh, stood next to you in the fire and that have walked with you in the desert and given you water to drink and giving you the word and giving you encouragement. Thank God for the friends who are not afraid to tell us when we are wrong. Thank you, God, for the women of wisdom. Thank you, God, for the women who will not back down, but will love us through our trial, but will not let us stay in our sin. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for those women. Thank you for the women of wisdom in our lives. My prayer today is that we will surround ourselves with wisdom. Surround yourself with a circle that is not easily broken. Surround yourself with women who understand you, that are not going to easily judge you, that are going to give you grace when you make a mistake, but are going to push you to grow. That is the women you need to surround yourself. Get rid of the petty friends. Let go of the pettiness, the people that just encourage your bitterness, that encourage your victim mentality. Honey, cut those relationships off. You don't need that. You do not need that. And they are one of the reasons your growth has been stunted. You need to realize that the people you surround yourself with, the women of wisdom you surround yourself with, they matter. It matters who you listen to. Be a woman and a warrior that is cautious and that is vigilant and will pick the circle that is going to move you forward. Pick the circle and the women of wisdom that is going to walk with you and not just pick them, but be them. Be a woman of wisdom. Be a woman who will pray with your sister when you sense a problem instead of calling someone else and talking about her. Be a woman of wisdom who is not afraid to walk with somebody through their desert no matter what it may look like. Be a woman of confidence in knowing who God made you to be and no matter who you're standing next to, You are individually and beautifully made by God. Your purpose is different from other women's purposes. Be the woman and the friend and the member in someone's circle that they can say, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for her. I want to be that person. I want to be that person for you, warrior. You are my friend. I want to be that for you. I pray this week that you will make the hard decisions. If you need to cut relationships off, if you need to move away and move forward with other people, get rid of the relationships that are feeding into the lies of the enemy and find yourself a circle of women who are not afraid to show you your strength and weaknesses and are not afraid to walk with you in the desert. Let us find the women and the friends that are going to move us forward. 
thank you so much for for listening to this podcast this week. I pray that this word has brought not only conviction, but enlightenment and encouragement to you today. And I pray that God will go forward, go ahead of you, and he will bring women of wisdom into your life that will be not only influential, but will change the atmosphere in your home, change the atmosphere in your life. And I pray that you will be encouraged and empowered to be a woman of wisdom. I pray you have a wonderful week and I will see you next week with another episode of The Warrior Within the Woman. God bless you. Love you.